What an honor it is to speak on behalf of Pete. So thank you, family. Delbert Francis Pete Longbreak was born on June 27, 1932, on Rattlesnake Creek in rural Zeebox, County, South Dakota. The son of Delbert and Marietta Longbreak and a member of the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. When Pete was about 14 years old, he watched Chauncey Van Dan ride a bronc at Pace, South Dakota, and win the rodeo. After seeing that bronc ride, it was what he wanted to do. He started riding in all the rough stock he had. He also team rope, calf rope, steer wrestled throughout his rodeo career. But bronc riding was his passion. Pete has lived in the Dupree area all his life, except for his time in the military, from January 1953 to January 1955, spending 14 months in Korea. He moved to Ash Creek in 1958 and built an arena with lumber from the old stockyards in Dupree. Many a young cowboy has gotten their start in this arena. He has won many championships in the SDRA, SDRA NRCA, AAIAA, GPIRA, and the NOTRA. He started competing as a teenager and rode his last round in 1987 at the age of 55. He competed in rodeos in the surrounding states in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. He traveled with many great area bronc riders and helped get a lot of, a lot of young bronc riders started. His traveling buddies included brothers Jamie, Ron, Bill, Jess Knight, Bud and Kimmy Day, Bud Jeffries, Dean Reed, Bob Hagel, Elmer Gunville, Jay Berge, Delbert Lamb, Erskine Spawn, Duffy Cook, Lyle, Gene, and Ralph Maynard, Dennis Hentz, Johnny Holloway, Justin and Roger Lawrence, John and Tom Miller, Spud Lemo, Blaine and Judd Norville, Scope Yellowhead, Benny Kenny, and good friend Donnie Farley. He traveled with that Jack Bush bomb one summer in the late 1950s and went to RCA rodeos. He was friends and competed with Casey Tibbs, Scotty Hall, Bill Myers, Teshers, Malkins, Kenny McLean, Chases, Fredericks, Terrence Escorn, and Willie Cowan, to name a few. Pete rode his last competitive bronc at the Pat Byrne Bronc Match in 1973 at Mill Iron, Montana. The bronc was McInerney's Curly Wolf, also known as Frontier Airlines, who went on to be five-time saddle bronc horse of the year in the RCA. He started riding in the National Old Timers Rodeo Association in 1980 and rode his last bronc in El Paso, Texas in 1987. Eddie, Eddie Bachman was a special friend to Pete. Pete started breeding bucking horses in the 1950s with mares that came from Eddie, using different studs that came from the area friends. Annis, Krauser, Fred Miller, Jess Knight, Wally Knight, Johnny Holloway, Pat Burns, Harlan Goodville, Brad Bertin, Sparky Reason. Pete, Pete still had as horses that trace back to the horses that bucked in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Pete and Lee Krauser started C&L Rodeo in 1972, producing amateur and youth rodeos until Lee's passing in 1989. He then started Long Break Rodeos and later partnered with his son Bud Long Break to continue the Long Break Rodeo stock contracting business. Some of Pete's horses have gone on to the NFR, and the bloodlines continue yet today. Pete has provided horses with Jim Sutton at the National High School Rodeo Finals, of which he is very proud because youth in rodeo have a special place in his heart. Without them getting the start, rodeo wouldn't be continued into the future. Sons Delbert, Jake, Bud, and Paul Road Rustock concentrating on saddle bronx and live in the Dupree area. 
daughter, daughter Charlie, rodeo to 4-H, high school, college, competing still, and lives in KC, Wyoming. He has 11 grandchildren and a host of great-grandchildren that are proudly carrying on Pete's rodeo legacy. Um, when the family asked me to do this, this I thought it was quite an honor and much, ain't much given up in front of folks and talking, but uh, what a great honor. And Pete helped me in my younger days, and he wasn't afraid to straighten you out either. <laughs> Tell you you might be pulling that back since a little one hole too much or whatever, but Pete helped a lot of us back in the day. And it's one short story about Pete. One time, Delbert and Jake and Bud and myself, a bunch of us, was entered at the Holloway Ranch Arena there in Parade, and uh, was all behind the shoots there. And Pete, he'd come back. He was one of the old timers already listening. He uh, just come from uh, one of them deals down in Nebraska. So he was back here visiting with us. And Jake says, uh, well, how'd you do, Pete? Pete says, well, did this and did that. And he finished with, uh, but I won the bronc ride. What'd you get on, Pete? He said, well, I got on such and such horse and so and so. And buck pretty good, Jake said. Heck, I got on that horse a while back. He said, he just kind of scattered down through the arena. Pete said, I'll put some iron in him, no fuck. <laughs> congratulations, Pete. <laughs> um, congratulations, Colin. Thank you, Peter. Pete, congratulations for all the years. Lord, if you'll be seated, let's have the four children, Jake and Delbert and Charlie and Bud, stand up and recognize them. Thank them for being here for me tonight. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Jake's going to come up and accept this award, and so Jake, on behalf of the Casey Tibbs Foundation, and so Pete, we congratulate you. And uh, Jake will receive your award. It says, Delbert P. Longbreak, the past rodeo great category for his contribution to the legacy of rodeo in South Dakota 2022. Thank you, Pete. Here, Jake. Congratulations. And the microphone is yours. Stop in there and visit with him, but you might not know your name, but once you, when you tell him who he is, then he knows who you are, but he, he recognizes a lot of guys, but once you say his name, then he knows who you are, and he thinks about it. You can stop in there and visit any time, but he's doing good, though. He had an injury last October, and, and uh, been in the Wonderwood about 11 months. Congratulations to all the other guys that are coming in. Uh, I guess everybody in the room knows each other. There's some good friends. Terrence Escort. Thank you. 